Steel Taipan is an up-and-coming mock rides launch coaster that is set to open at Dreamworld in Queensland, Australia, just in time for the 2021 season. This coaster is going to be a clone of the popular mock rides launch coaster model, Blue Fire, however, it will have two key differences. Steel Taipan will be unique from the other Blue Fire coasters in a way where it features a multi-pass launch. The rest of the Blue Fire rides feature just one launch, however Steel Taipan will feature three, and that will be used via a multi-pass launch, which features a switch track and a backwards propulsion method. You will launch up the first time and then roll back down your bank turn. You then enter the launch track again, regain some more speed, and fly up a twisted spike. After that, you roll through the launch for a third time and finally make it over. This will make the launch more exciting and add a longer duration to the ride experience. And the second key change is no doubt an improvement and that is the fact that the back car will be spinning. This will be a great enhancement to the ride experience as it will make it far wilder and more exciting. You will be able to go through inversions, airtime moments, and even launches forwards, backwards, or sideways, which will surely enhance the ride experience and make it different from other rides just like it. When Steel Taipan does eventually open up, it will be Dreamworld's fifth roller coaster, and I have no doubt in my mind that it will be their best, due to its inversion filled ride experience with a bunch of airtime moments and three intense launches. Media coverage of this coaster hasn't been the easiest to obtain, but from what I've gathered, track and supports for Steel Taipan were found on site late 2020 season, and since then, construction has been moving at a pretty quick pace for this coaster's 2021 opening. Now, let's go through Steel Taipan's animated POV. As soon as you dispatch from this coaster station, you enter a slow left-handed turn, and you keep turning until you enter the launch track. Now, I've gone fully in-depth with this coaster's launch sequence, so I'm just gonna go straight into the ride experience. After you roll through that really funky launch, you boost up into your max speed. Once you hit that max speed, you immediately rise up into the highest point of your ride, a massive overbank curve. After that, you drop into your first inversion, a massive vertical loop which looks pretty forceful and awesome. That sends you into a snappy overbank before you pop right up into the mid-course brake run. After getting lightly trimmed, you slow down a bit before you drop to the ground and regain all your speed. That sends you into a twisted horseshoe roll, which consists of two inversions back to back. You dive through some rock work and enter an airtime hill right through the ride's vertical loop. That sends you riding around a turnaround that sends you into your fourth and final inversion, an inline twist. After speeding through that, you twist up into the final brake run, ending your ride experience. Steel Taipan will feature a max height of 128 feet, a max drop about 120 feet, a max speed of 65 miles an hour, and a track length of 3,937 feet of track. The coaster will also feature four inversions and three launches. As mentioned previously, Steel Taipan will feature the traditional mock rides trains with the over the shoulder lap bar. These trains are known for being super comfortable and very open to riders. It is unknown at this time if they will feature seat belts, but those shouldn't inhibit the ride experience too much at all. As far as theming for this coaster goes, we really have no idea. A Taipan is a highly venomous snake in Australia, and they threw steel in the name to differ it from the snake and make it known that it is a roller coaster or something. I don't know, but I'm sure that the theming for this ride will be pretty good. In the animation and concept art, it seems to have a fairly loose western theme around the ride experience, and during the ride there are a bunch of rocks and a small tunnel, so I hope that that will be included on the actual coaster. The coaster itself looks great with its bright orange track and its dark gray supports. They fit really nicely with the dark green trains, and I am super excited to see this coaster in action.
Anyways, that's gonna wrap up this video. What do you guys think of Steel Taipan coming to Dreamworld in Australia for the 2021 season? Let me know in the comments down below. As for me, this coaster looks super fun, and a great fit for Dreamworld, especially with that spinning back car which makes it unique. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like rating and subscribe for more roller coaster content just like this on Hangtime Thrills. I'll catch you guys next time.